Hi Cancer, I am Anisha. You can write to me at tarot by anisha at gmail.com. You can also visit my website at www.tarotbyanisha.com. And this is your monthly forecast for February 2013. This is the month of love. We start this month with the beautiful Venus that is going to be transiting your 8th house Cancer and what a lovely place for Venus to be in. Your 8th house is all about um, behind the scenes, it's about transformation, it's about uh, your deepest emotions, it's about intimacy, it's about sex and Venus is all about love. Venus is all about creativity, Venus is also about um, shared resources and Venus also rules money. Now Venus is going to be coming there and she's going to be making you want to share your deepest, most intimate emotions, feelings with your partner. It's a wonderful place to be in and each year Venus comes um, and spends a couple of weeks in this part of your chart. I think for those of you who have been trying to, um, you know, get or share your emotions with your closest partner but have been having a tough time doing so, this is a great time to be doing it, Cancerians. Make use of this time. There is also focus on joint finances, how it is that the joint resources get merged, how it is that you're open with each other, how it is that... Uh, uh, it focuses on generosity as well, you know, how it is that you give and how it is that you receive. So a lot of focus on, on joint things as well. Traditionally, the 8th house is also known as the house of tax, death and sex. Uh, though, uh, I would say if you were to look at it in the current context, it really speaks about transformation. It speaks about how it is that you are able to let go of things. Let go of patterns so that you can be more unified with the other, with your partner. What is it that, uh, what are the changes that you can make in yourself so that the relationship becomes more stronger, more intimate. There's a more uh, deeper bond between the both of you. So Venus is going to be making you look at things that you want in your relationships. What is it that is lacking? What is it or what are the changes that you can make so that um, you know the relationship becomes more secure it's also going to be focusing on your security issues as well and again at an intimate level since it's there on your uh, eighth house now we have a mercury that is retrograde the mercury goes retrograde around the 18th of february and we all know the mercury retrograde drill it's not a great time to be buying expensive big ticket items it's not a great time to be traveling it's not a great time also to be signing new documents or going in for or i would say getting into fresh negotiations at this point of time venus is also going to be focusing on your joint resources there's a lot of focus on merging of finances how it is that you are towards money with your partner do you tend to hold a lot are you generous how it is that you share as for traditional astrology, this house was also known as the house of uh, sex, death and taxes. So if you were to look at the current context, I think the death would mean letting go of the patterns which no longer serve purpose, really letting go of things in your relationship which are just futile, which are not serving either of you or, or, or are maybe literally robbing you of the intimacy. So. The time has come wherein that you need to sort of, um, you know, let go of certain things in order to be in a more fulfilling or a more intimate relationship with your partner. We also have um, a Mercury retrograde that happens around the 18th of uh, February. And as for all the Mercury retrogrades, the drill is the same. You avoid buying a big ticket item be careful of the travel plans that you do try not to sign any important documentations be extremely careful uh, this is not the time to be getting into fresh agreements it is not a great time also i would say uh, as far as uh, if there are some grand travel plans are there be extra careful you know be careful about the details remember to keep the receipts like I always says, you know, there is a retrograde and there is a reality. So if you have to travel, of course, you must travel. Just be a little extra cautious. It just 
so happens that during a retrograde you may not have all the details that you could be or you should be having at that point of time the picture may not be clear for you also if you're getting into negotiations you may normally find that a certain fact was hidden from you similarly if you buy a heavy or a big item ticket or an expensive uh, piece of uh, gizmo at this point of time you may find later on that you know maybe an upgrade version was there just uh, maybe three weeks down or uh, you know you could have got a better price so nothing really drastic but yes they are a little bit of uh, minor irritants so to speak you know which one can be uh, careful about now saturn has been retrograde in your fifth house that's a house of love it's a house of creativity it's a house of children and romance and um, saturn carries on being there till about october 2015 and saturn starts retrograding around the 23rd towards the end of the month for the couple of next months and again during a Saturn retrograde Saturn is a planet of action it's a planet of movement and whenever it comes into a certain part of our chart it is merely asking us to make those changes to make those transformations because certain things are not working for us and Saturn retrograde it's not uh, Saturn is giving you a chance to think it is um, hence the, the retrograde is there for a short time well, uh, uh, I think though the time is enough really a couple of weeks should do it's a time to be looking at uh, things that uh, and again since it is there in your fifth house how it is uh, you are in your closest relationships how it is that you deal with your children maybe there is something that you can revise right now maybe there is something that needs to get planned right now maybe it could be that uh, uh, the way that you have been uh, dealing with your children or the or your attitude, maybe something, the, the treatment of it needs to be changed. There could be some amount of a change that is being asked of you and it is the time to uh, contemplate. So, like I said, retrograde is a brilliant time to revise, replan, retweak things which can get better. So, it's a time really to be taking stock of things. I think it's a, a, a great time where you can also see look at your uh, closest relationships and see what is not working recognize certain patterns and uh, again like i'm saying don't sort of rush to do it but look at it as to what is it more that you can do you know to uh, make things more smoother for yourself also saturn is all about uh, restriction limitation responsibility accountability so saturn may be asking you how is it that you feel limited in your closest relationship what is it that makes you feel restricted while dealing with your loved ones? What is it that is making you hesitate while reaching out towards your child? So all these are very important uh, and like I said, things to contemplate, things to introspect and know as to where it is that the changes can be made. So great month for you Cancerans, Venus is there, a lot of love, a lot of laughter. And also, like I said, a great time to be introspecting. Saturn is giving you the chance right now to sit and revise things which can help you be better or put your relationships more smoother for you. So have a great month. I'll see you again next month. And thank you so much for watching.